Early morning update Friday. Paul Lindman and Scott Lind, good morning. With all the attention on the race for the White House and the Portland's mayor's race, uh, it may be the campaign you haven't heard much about, Amanda Fritz running for a second term on the city council. Yesterday we talked with her opponent, legislator Mary Nolan. Today Amanda joins us. And Amanda, let's start with the question my dad said we should ask of all incumbents. What have you done for us lately? I keep spending the taxpayers' money wisely. I remember it's your money. And so with every item on the city council agenda, I'm looking at is this wise use of taxpayers' money and ratepayers' money? Are we getting good value for it? And are we providing the services to citizens? And I've done that consistently for three years and gotten results. What kind of results would you, would you have us note this morning? What are you most proud of, of achieving? Well, uh, the most spectacular was persuading the Water Bureau to not build a $500 million filtration system in 2009. That saved ratepayers $6 million a year and reduced the rates by uh, 6%. The ra- water rates are still too high, and I would like a second term to hopefully be in charge of the Water Bureau so that I can continue looking into those issues. If reelected, what would your priorities be? Equity is a big reason I'm running again. We just established the Office of Equity and Human Rights to make sure that everyone has opportunities and access to city jobs, contracts, and services. So that office is just starting, and I hired a a director, Dante James, after a nationwide search. So we now have an expert on board who will be looking into how the city does contracting and hiring and doing a better job of it because they state of black oregon report in 2009 and the coalition of communities of color report in 2010 showed that for people of color and for people with disabilities in portland things are worse here than they were 17 years ago and they are worse here than in any other major american city that's not who we are as portlanders it's not who we want to be we've done a lot of work in the past to try to address these disparities but it hasn't worked so we're going to have a much more systemic and systematic approach with the office of equity and human rights to finally make in, in these issues that affect all of us. Amanda, talk about the private sector for just a moment. Every candidate at every level in these times talks about the importance of creating more jobs in the community. How much impact can a single city commissioner actually have to that end with local business? Well, when you work well with your colleagues, both on the council and on the, in the large and small businesses, we, one commissioner is necessary to get to three votes or most of the time five votes to make, make a difference. We have done a number of new initiatives in Portland to focus our economic development activities with the Portland Development Commission and with our neighborhood business associations as well as the Portland Business Alliance. So last year in Multnomah County, we gained 6,800 new jobs in the private sector at the same time that we cut 1,700 government jobs. So we are making a difference and we recognize that we need to stay the course and continue focusing on economic development and jobs and schools as we start to dig out of this horrible recession. So much uh, talk is given these days to how much money candidates are spending to win office. On the face of it, it would appear that your opponent, Legislator Mary Nolan, is raising a lot more money. You're raising small amounts from individual donors. Uh, Are you concerned about that? Well, obviously, yes. Um, Her war chest of over $200,000 is significant and will buy a lot of advertising. I've been working really hard in the 95 neighborhoods of Portland for the last three years, being present in being connected with the community. So I don't want to get another term if I have to ask special interests for huge quantities of money. That's not who I am. I was elected with public campaign financing, so I'm limiting my donations to $50 per person, and I'm not taking any money from corporations or groups. So if that means I lose the election, so be it. But I'm trusting the people of Portland because I think there's a better way in Portland that we had with voter and election and that I want to continue being the person on city council who citizens don't have to worry about whether I'm um, thinking about my campaign donors because my campaign donors are hundreds of people and thousands of people. In fact, all the taxpayers and ratepayers when I was elected in 2008. City Commissioner Amanda Fritz, she wants to keep the job, and we will talk again between now and Election Day. Amanda, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me.